The CEO here at the Fort Smith Crisis Intervention Center says since June of last year, calls and cases have increased from 200 to nearly 300 percent. They've been operating at capacity ever since. And the CEO says right now it's even more difficult to help people since federal funds were cut. There's been multiple days we've been as full as we can be. It's not been unusual for us to have 25, 30 people in the shelter on a daily basis. And we're not just a domestic violence and sexual assault center. We're human traffic training. Our hotline is a suicide hotline, and also we're a family violence center, so we can take an entire family in. Fort Smith Crisis Intervention Center CEO Penny Burns says the shelter can house up to 32 adults, even more children. According to national statistics, less than 1% of domestic violence victims report it to police. A big reason is because they think deep down inside they're going to be stuck and sooner or later they're going to have to go back home. And that happens. It's typically eight, seven to eight times that a victim will return home. It's eye opening. And if it happens eight times plus, the possibility of homicide increases greatly. Words of believe, courage, hope, and strength are seen throughout the center. Vincent Mendoza teaches high school students about domestic and sexual violence as well as suicide prevention. I've been doing this for a few years now and uh, the things that I've heard uh, from different teens and even adults and up, up to teachers as well, uh, you'd be surprised the things that they open up to you about after they hear what you know and the services you can provide. The shelter served more than 300 people last year, but after cuts were made to the Federal Victims of Crimes Act, Burns says that left them with a shortfall of more than $250,000, which meant eliminating seven positions. Most of that was in the child care facility. Today, what would be full of kids now sits empty. That is a secondary program and not an immediate victim service program. So safety and shelter and hotline have to come first. None of those cuts could come from that area. If you're a domestic violence or sexual assault victim, you can call the 24-hour crisis hotline that you see right here at the bottom of your screen. Now tonight at 6, why the CEO says they would not be able to keep the doors open here without your help. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.